I'm so conflicted on this banner. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Fonz. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today, we're talking about Arataki Ito's banner, Oni's Royale, where he's going to be accompanied by Zhang Ling, Goro, and Barbara. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of conflicted. We're going to talk about all the banners that are going to be coming out and if I think they're worth pulling on. So first things first, if you're a newer player, like if you don't have all these characters, obviously you don't have Goro or Arataki Ito, but if you don't have yourself a C6 Zhang Ling, this is a decent banner. I feel like Barbara at this point just kind of haunts our dreams, but that's, you know, it just is what it is. But with Goro being a new character and Zhang Ling being so strong, I think it's a pretty solid banner. Again, if you don't have these characters, but if you're like most of us and you've been playing for a little bit and you've been wishing for a little bit, you probably already have a C6 Zhang Ling. You get a free one. I know for me, I've wished a lot over the year or whatever that we've been playing, but funny enough, my Zhang Ling is C5, so I'm fine getting one. <laughs> but most people probably have a C6 at this point, which is great. Zhang Ling is an amazing character. Barbara, on the other hand, is a pretty solid healer. And I think with the new healing set, she might actually be able to like be a pretty viable character. I don't really know. I'm still not going to build her because I mean, I have Kokomi, so. And then of course, we've all been talking about Goro being literally like the Geo Bennett. Goro seems like he's going to be an insane support for Arataki Ito. So those characters are going to have some really nice synergy. And of course, Arataki numero uno Ito is going to be a bang. I don't care what you say. I'm so excited for him. They keep teasing new characters. They're like, oh, what, what about Ayato? Oh, what about Yanjun? Oh, what about Chisui or whatever? I don't care, dude. I want Arataki Ito. I think he's going to be super dope. All in all, I think this banner is really solid if you don't have a C6 Shang Ling. Because let's just say you're a brand new player. That means you're going to be getting Zhang Ling's along the way, which is great. You'll be getting Goro's along the way, which is great because he's brand new. And hopefully you'll be dodging as many Barbaras as possible. Unless you want her, then hopefully you get C6 Barbara. And may God have mercy on your soul. But yeah, as a veteran player, this banner is not amazing. So let me know if you plan on witching on this banner. I think it's going to be solid for a lot of people. But like I said, if you're like me, where you've been wishing for a while, this banner is just to get to Edo. <laughs> Next up, the weapon banner. This one kind of surprised me, I'll be honest. So, so we've got the Red Horn Stone Thresher, our Ataki Ito's weapon, which we'll talk about here in a second. And then Skyward Harp. Like, can we just please get a Wolf's Gravestone on a banner? I need Wolf's Gravestone for my Deluxe so bad. So dumb. I'm so sick of having those little swords float around me from using Serpent's Spine. But yeah, in general, Skyward Harp is an amazing weapon. It's really, really solid. Skyward Harp came out with the original game and is still one of the best in slot weapons for child. If you're going for like a DPS Venti and you're not running Elemental Mastery on them, which why would you even do that? But whatever. I mean, just in general, it's just a really good bow overall. It's good for a lot of characters. And then the Red Horn Stone Thresher is of course Arataki Ito's weapon. It's going to be like his best in slot period. I don't even know of another weapon that's going to be decent for him. Like I'm really concerned about not having that weapon and its stats are busted. So we'll, we'll talk about that again in a second. But the four stars are like kind of good. I, I, so we got the bell, Favonius Lance, Sacrificial Fragments, the Alley Flash, and the Mitternox Waltz. I don't, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure that the Waltz and the Alley Flash have only been on one banner, which is crazy. So that's gonna be a really good opportunity for a lot of players to get like Alley Flash is crazy good. It might not have like the most insane effect, but straight up base stats. I'm holding a Master Ball, by the way. I don't, I don't know. It's my little plushie. But the Alley Flash's stats, it's base stats. It's like 642 for base attack. So it's crazy good on Bennett just for buffing your team. Highly recommended. And then the Waltz, I'm pretty sure is Fischl's bow. I don't remember what the Waltz does. Let's look it up. Okay, so it's a physical damage bow, which is not what I expected. I didn't realize that. But 51.7% physical damage, that's solid. And the normal attack hits on opponent increase elemental skill damage by 20% for five seconds. So that'll go up to 40% for refinement rank five. And then elemental skill hits on opponents increase normal attack damage by 20%. It'll go up to 40% for refinement rank five for five seconds. So that is like sick for Fischl. You can literally build like a physical build for Fischl and still have really solid damage on Oz. So that's actually really good. I kind of want one of those if I'm honest. Yeah, that banner came out when I was like not really wishing on weapon banners. And I still wish that I didn't really wish on weapon banners, but I do now. But yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty good weapon banner. It's unfortunate that the bell's on there, but all the other weapons are really good. I mean, Favonius Lance is going to be great for Zhang Ling if you don't have one already. Alley Flash is amazing for Bennett, just straight up for like buffing your team. And then the Walt sounds insane for Fischl, so I definitely don't want to get one of those. But as always, if you're free to play or a low spender, I, I don't recommend this weapon banner. Just straight up, I don't recommend it. But let's talk about the Red Horn Stone Thresher. Oh my God. This weapon is 
crazy because so much of our attack at Ito's stats are going to be focused on defense this weapon is just cracked it is crazy so it is a crit damage based weapon with 88.2 percent crit damage which is nuts but it does only have a base attack of 542 so kind of a lower base attack but so much crit damage dude it's crazy keep in mind he doesn't really scale off of base attack he's going to be scaling a lot off of defense so the base attack being low is not really that big of a deal but for its effect its defense is increased by 28 percent normal and charge attack damage is increased by 40 percent of defense so that's a huge deal the fact that his burst ability is all normal and charge attacks this weapon brings so much value to ito that i almost don't know if he's worth wishing for if you don't get it like he's gonna be fun right but i genuinely think they made this weapon like this this to me is another hu tao and staff of homa like if you get arataki ito it feels like you only have half of the puzzle i don't know man this seems like it's gonna bring so much value to arataki ito this is kind of concerning it almost worries me that you might be underwhelmed if you don't plan on wishing for the weapon as well and if you're trying to get arataki ito and the weapon bro that's not cheap <laughs> like that's not cheap at all uh I don't know, man. I'm concerned that this weapon is going to be a need for Arataki Ito because I'm sitting there looking at it and I'm like, I don't know of any other defense-based Claymores. Like straight up, is there another defense-based Claymore that's at least a four-star? Not that I know of. Granted, you can run just like a straight up crit rate or something like that, but I think this weapon's gonna bring so much value to him that it's just gonna be crazy. So I personally do plan on wishing on Arataki Ito and most likely trying to get his weapon too. I wasn't planning on it, but I don't think I'll be wishing on a weapon banner anytime time soon I'm trying to think if there's any other weapons that I really want besides wolves gravestone yeah I'm, I, I don't think there's anything else that I want so that being said knowing that I have a little bit of leeway I will most likely be wishing on both but let me know your thoughts do you plan on wishing for Arataki Ito do you plan on wishing for his weapon because like I said I do think this is a solid character banner for people that are newer to the game if you've been around a little bit you're going to be wishing for Goros maybe finishing off some constellations for Barbara or Zhengling but they're pretty much just a means to an end where we just want Goro and Ito but like I said let me know what you think down in the comment section like the video if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new around here and before we head out a huge shout out to the members of the channel thank you so much for helping make these videos possible i love you guys i appreciate you watching we'll see you on the next one all right so i'll be real with you guys i finished editing and realized that this video didn't hit the eight minute mark so i figured why not let's check out the character demo for goro so that we get them good ads on this video you know what i'm saying let's check it out i love these character demos these are my favorite and i never know how to like implement them in videos victory in battle lies in remembering the meaning of battle and employing the right tactics to generate momentum making your forces unstoppable with momentum on our side and close camaraderie we are unstoppable. i mean he he is cool he does look cool like i'm not gonna take that away General from him Goro of the watatsumi island resistance ready and waiting dude that animation style is so cool man i love that like the 2d 3d <laughs> that little thing is awesome Oh, man. I don't know what it is about characters that like hold their bow to the side. But, like holding your bow to the side just seems like so much more cool. I think it's like paw prints. It's so funny. He's going to be nuts for our Taiga Ito, man. Everyone on me. Dude, the little dog is great. Thank you for your guidance. This is a victory that belongs to the both of us. There we go. All right. Not as uh, insane as, as I thought it was going to be. I mean, normally the, the demos for the five stars are crazy, uh, but the demo for that four star was uh, was OK. But yeah, Goro the Canine Warrior coming soon to a banner near you. I think we've just about hit the eight minute mark, so I appreciate you guys understanding. I love you and I will see you on the next one.